The Book of Enoch is an apocryphal text that claims to be written by Enoch, who is mentioned in Genesis as being taken up into heaven by the Lord. Many Christians have claimed that this book was taken out of the Bible and that it should be regarded as divinely inspired as are other texts of scripture. Today I'll show that there is simply no reason to regard the book of Enoch as scripture and that in reality the book of Enoch can be damaging for a Christian's faith. The book of Enoch follows the vision that was given to Enoch by God. The first section or book from chapters 1 to 36 follow Enoch seeing the fall of the watchers. The watchers were angels who fathered or had children with mankind and created the Nephilim, which were giants. This book also speaks of Noah and the reasoning for the floods. Now, the earliest manuscript we have of the book of Enoch comes from the Dead Sea Scrolls written around the mid to late 100s BC. Most scholars are willing to say that it was written before this time around the 3rd to 2nd century BC, and that's being generous. Already with this in mind, this puts the book of Enoch in historical contradiction to the actual Enoch who lived thousands of years before. What you'll find about the book of Enoch is that it is split into five different sections. The book of Watchers, the book of Parables, the book of Luminaries, the book of Dream and Vision, and the Epistle of Enoch. With regard to these five sections or books, biblical scholar Bar Ehrman states that there are in fact five different writings that have been accumulated and placed together in this longer work. Even though they are all connected with visions and experiences of Enoch, the five sections were written by different authors at different times and only later combined into a literary work. There simply is no historical basis to trust that first Enoch was written by the actual Enoch which it claims to be written by, especially given the difference in language as the book of Enoch was likely written originally in Hebrew or Aramaic, whereas Hebrew and Aramaic wouldn't be invented until thousands of years after the actual Enoch. This is why scholars declare that the book of Enoch is a pseudepigraphal text, meaning falsely attributed to an author. The second section or book of 1st Enoch is where we start to encounter theological issues. In 1st Enoch chapter 48, we read about the Messiah, also known as the Son of Man, similar to the book of Daniel. And at that hour, that Son of Man was named in the presence of the Lord of Spirits. Yea, before the sun and the signs were created, before the stars of the heaven were made, his name was named before the Lord of Spirits. And for this reason hath he been chosen and hidden before him. Now the book of Enoch presents a pre-existent or divine messiah, which isn't necessarily a problem since we view Jesus, who is the messiah, as God or divine as well. The issue comes with learning who this messiah is in chapter 71. And he came to me, Enoch, and greeted me with his voice, and said to me, You are that son of man, who was born for righteousness, and righteousness dwells on you, and the righteousness of the head of days will not forsake you. Now, theologically speaking, this puts Enoch at direct odds with the New Testament, where we learn that Jesus is the true Messiah and not Enoch. For a Christian to accept Enoch as scripture, they in turn accept Enoch as the pre-existent and somewhat divine Messiah, instead of Jesus, who is revealed in the New Testament as the true Messiah. Yet again, this second section of Enoch, or the book of parables, was written decades, if not centuries after the first section, and is very clearly written by a different author. It's even thought that there were some interpolations in the text throughout chapter 70 to 71, based on the change of diction towards Enoch being the Messiah. Suffice to say, the book of Enoch is a dangerous book for any Christian to regard it as scripture, as it clearly contradicts the New Testament and historically speaking, was not written by Enoch, though it claims to be. Thanks for watching. If you want to see similar content, please consider liking and subscribing. And as always, God bless.